right, guys. So welcome back. Thank you for hanging out, spending a few moments. Uh, the charger has its first email tune loaded up there. We can do some data logging, make sure that we can smoothen everything out. But I can't really do any kind of big pulls or, or anything like that. Uh, the reason for this is because at some point we're going to have to upgrade the injectors. The 392 uh, injectors are currently maxed out. So adding a whole bunch of forced air is uh, not going to really work out. So we're going to do those injectors. And then also to an additional fuel pump. Uh, do not want to crank up the boost and then you know run out of uh, fuel that could that could uh, spell a lot of trouble now the other day we just installed the Hellcat map sensor so that the computer now realizes that uh, forced air is uh, happening also too another thing is the intake sensor this came off of a Dodge Ram and it's a, uh, a screw-in, so it should be able to withstand increased pressure uh, in the intake. So really, that's uh, where, where we all stand. Uh, that was the first initial email tune. I'm going to do some data logging. We'll get some corrections. Uh, once we have this thing running smooth and everything, uh, I'm going to do the injectors, do the pump, and then we're going to schedule a dyno day. I know a lot of guys out there are really, you know, antsy about seeing this thing up on the dyno, seeing what kind of power uh, it can make with this twin turbo setup. And, you know, I feel you. I hear you. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I just don't have the budget to just do everything all at once. It is what it is. You know, this, this twin turbo setup was a healthy amount of money but i don't want to do things irresponsibly i want to make sure all the pieces are in place so that you know when we do crank up the boost it'll be able to handle it and believe me you know once once the fueling is all taken care of there's going to be a whole new set of problems the transmission the drive shaft it's all going to be you know it's all going to need to get upgraded this car has a lot of work to do and uh you know i'm looking forward to you know seeing how it all plays out but the first step is to refine that email tune. You know, once everything's in order, then we'll, we'll get it up on the dyno, see what this thing is capable of doing, get it up at the track. Hopefully everything stays, you know, intact. And, and then I can slowly start upgrading really the rest of the vehicle. So um, the, the initial startup, the email tune, I mean, that cam sounds gnarly. It is definitely has a big lope to it. So I'm sure with some refining, it'll smoothen out just a little bit. Uh, you know, I'll keep you in the loop. I'll let you know, you know, when everything is happening. Uh, I do appreciate the support. You know, I, I know this is a bit of bad news for those that are really dying to see what the, the, um, the charger is capable of doing up on the dyno, you know, but I'm taking this process a little bit on the slow side. It's a lot of money invested into this engine, a lot of money invested into this car. So I do things uh, slow, you know, methodically, and uh, I try and do it right. Do I make some mistakes? Sure. But nothing, uh, nothing crazy. So with that being said, guys, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. This channel is almost at 100,000 subscribers, which is a huge milestone. So I'm hoping we hit 100K within the next month or two. And uh, yeah, this thing's going to be a monster. All right, guys, I'll check you on the next upload.